Could you be sabotaging your relationship and not know it? Renowned psychologist Dr. Jordan Peterson is here with a new type of relationship intervention that everyone has to see. He's one of the most influential thinkers out there, and while deemed controversial by some, Dr. Peterson's work has resonated with millions of couples all around the world, selling out books and lectures by the tens of millions. And today, he's breaking down his biggest rules for living happy and healthy relationships. That might just surprise you. Thank you, Russell, for being here. So he says one of the biggest focuses is, 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 the, is, is that you have to actually maintain the sanctity of marriage. And he once said, if you're not all in, you're not married. These are pretty provocative statements. Why do people find this controversial? Well, I think people are afraid of confronting the real problems and conflicts in their life, and no wonder, and they want an out, they want an option. And you can understand that, but the thing about marriage is that unless you're in it for the long run, it's very difficult to be desperate enough to solve the problems properly. Otherwise, if you always think you can escape, if that's always in the back of your mind, then you're going to be able to avoid engaging in that difficult problem-solving process. I think the reason that some people get uncomfortable with your advice is it's brutally honest. Mm. And when you, you know, talk about these issues that are usually black and white, like living together before you get married, which has become so common, yep. you take a firm statement saying, well, that just means that you just want to be able to compare what you got now for what yep. is else out there. That's painful for people to hear. Yep. But I respect the fact that you're telling the truth as you see it, and I want folks to hear this wisdom from you, and then you guys decide how to use it in your lives. The biggest mistake couples are making today in America, again, this is a major focus of your work. What is it? Oh, I think they underestimate the degree to which marriage is also an economic and practical relationship. It's going to be how the household duties are distributed. It's going to be discussion about career. It's going to be discussion about finances. It's going to be discussion about how you raise and discipline your children and your priorities. And that's work, like, like running a business is work. You have, to, you have to think strategically and you have to learn to negotiate. It's very hard for people to negotiate. And, and that's an undervalued skill. We heard from our next guests, I knew they were in need of an intervention. Stacy and Tracy have been married for seven years, but the chaos of everyday life is threatening to tear them apart. Take a look. Stacy and I met actually back in high school. We were high school best friends, pretty much inseparable. After school, we kind of went our own separate ways, did our own thing, and then, of course, through the magical power of Facebook, we found each other again. And then I told her, I said, let's just go to dinner. Went to dinner and been together since. My marriage was awesome when we first got married, but it's just slipped into like we're roommates. The communication is gone. The affection's gone. She was my best friend. We did everything together. We would go camping, uh, motorcycle rides. We used to go on love dates, and now it's like we don't do anything together. On a daily basis, we kind of get in little arguments or tiffs. We have different expectations of what we want from each other and not even on the same page or even in the same book sometimes, so to speak. Sometimes I beat him down, so it's like he doesn't want to try. I do feel underappreciated. I feel like she's given up. Either we got to fix this or go. Things have got to change. Oh, it makes me sad, sorry. I have the divorce papers printed out already and he knows it as well. And it's not that we don't want to fix it, we do, we just don't know how. I want it, but how do I save it? Stacy and Tracy join us now. Tracy, what's it like to hear what Stacy was saying? It's real, but hurts. It hurts. Stacy? It's disappointing to me because I don't want to be the stigma of going through divorce. We're still quite young. I know there's better out there. I just miss my best friend. And Tracy, why did you want to be here? I, I saw how emotional it was for you to watch your wife speaking about the marriage. It's just the speaking, the pictures of what we had, miss it. Just like, like she said, just want my best friend back. You want some help? Absolutely. Yes. All right, well, up next, what Dr. Peterson says could be the intervention that every marriage needs right now. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.